December 19th, 2022. This day, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of the end for Jeremy Financial Education, Financial Fortress, and every other grift enterprise that Jeremy Lefebvre has ever perpetuated. In this video, I'm going to show you how Jeremy's longtime fan investor Discord member, Jarch, has now quit his Discord forever because he has finally awakened to the massive degeneracy, the massive disgusting clownery, the disgusting, sickening grift that is Jeremy Lefebvre. This video right here, I was just confronted my response. This came out a couple days ago, and he highlights, Jeremy does, this Discord comment from a guy named Jarch. And Jarch goes and he talks about how basically Jeremy has corrupted the concept of dollar cost averaging and has applied that concept of DCAing into individual stocks when it only really works with index funds. That's not a discussion for right now. And Jeremy actually made a response video for this commenter, Jarge, on his main channel. And it got, let's see, 36,000 uh, views, and he even left a pinned comment. Everybody show Jarge love. He made this video possible. Now, on the surface, this is great transparency. I mean, Jeremy's taking criticism, and he's responding to it on his channel in a video. And he gets paid to do it with ad revenue, of course. But here's the funny thing. It looks like Jarch has had a little update. It looks like Jarch has finally decided that Jeremy is just not worth listening to, investing with, taking any advice with, because Jeremy has crossed the line. What did Jeremy do? Well, he bought call options on a triple leveraged inverse Dow ETF. What a massive clown. And I actually covered that in another video, but... You can go watch that after you're done with this one. And after you like it, subscribe to my channel. So here is a leaked comment from Jarch and how he's finally capitulated and how I think this is indicative of a larger collapse in financial fortress. Because at this point, after the destruction of Jeremy LaFave's portfolio, how is there one single person who is still in this freaking loser's discord? How is he still making money off of all of you? It makes no freaking sense whatsoever. The amount of destruction, the amount of pain, the amount of suffering this clown has caused, it's, a, it's an unspeakable crime. And yet people are still signing up for his Discord. And they're still paying him. And they still look up to him as a leader. This is sick. This is disgusting. I can't, I can't freaking believe this. Anyway, let's read what Jarge had to say. Hi, all. Jarge here. After a lot of consideration, I've decided it's time for me to part ways with this community. Good for you. Jeremy's video on hedging his portfolio with call options on SDAO, a triple leverage inverse DAO ETF, shows a massive lack of investing knowledge. There are many times I've disagreed with his actions, but talking about this enters a whole new arena of irresponsibility, which he communicated to thousands on YouTube. Honestly, I don't know if I could think of a worse way to hedge your portfolio. You might as well just light that money on fire so he buys tattooed chef it gets absolutely insanely obliterated he buys smile direct club that gets absolutely utterly obliterated he buys a bunch of freaking hot trash penny stock garbage unprofitable share diluting poop it all gets annihilated and still people listen to him and then jeremy makes this video oh my i, I have an addiction oh my god I, i'm addicted to gambling and buying trash stocks please forgive me and then he makes that video, and then the next couple of days, he buys call options on a triple leverage inverse ETF. <laughs> you can't make this up. This is insane. Oh. First, the Dow Jones is probably one of the few indices that has a shot at handling a recessionary environment with high inflation wealth. It is built of companies that have decent evaluations along with high pricing power and the necessity for their products in many economic environments. Actually, yeah, the Dow hasn't gone down that much relative to like the NASDAQ. I mean, if you wanted to hedge your portfolio and you're worried about a stock market crash, you'd maybe want to do like an inverse. I'm not saying to do this, but like an inverse, uh, you know, tech heavy portfolio or like an inverse QQQ, something like that. I don't do that at all because I think it's stupid, but to choose the Dow, interesting choice. Second, the volatility decay on the 3X inverse ETF alone is going to be make 
is going to be a major headwind to make it a one-year hedge. If you actually look at the long-term performance, even though the mark, the Dow is down over the last year, so is this ETF. This triple inverse leveraged ETF, which should be at the moon because the market's down, is not down. It's, a, it's not up. It's actually down. <laughs> Third, the theta decay on the options will be a further headwind making this even a worse hedge. If this trade works out, it will be due to pure luck. Yes, that is Jeremy's entire history. Pure luck. Just a, an idiot just throwing darts at the dartboard. And if something goes up, he claims he's a genius. But if something goes down, he just ignores it. It is a horrible way to hedge the risk of an economic recession. And might I add that I've posted about other ways to hedge with much less risk. Or you could just dollar cost average in index funds. And if you have a long time horizon, it doesn't matter. But here's my main reason for leaving. I completely disagree that being that being part of a community of investors and expanding your knowledge should come at a fee, let alone the ridiculous prices he charges for what I consider a very, very low amount of value. It's negative value. He is incompetent. He is a clown. He's a fool with zero qualifications. I've learned, and if you don't, if, if you really think I'm making this up, have you not been watching my channel for the last couple of years? I've been 100% right about him. Oh, and he still has a billion times more subscribers than me. Because it's YouTube! It's full of morons! I've watched, I've learned more from free books at the library and other free online resources over the last six months, bogleheads.org, yeah, than I have learned here in the last two years. Watching Jeremy's actions is more like financial destruction than financial education. At the end of the day, if I post valuable content here, it reinforces the draw to a low quality paid service that I no longer want to do that. If you value my thoughts, you can join my free Discord. Woo! Baby! Destruction! <laughs> and I think this is just the beginning. Oh, please let this be the beginning. Please. <laughs> Jeremy's gotta go, okay? YouTube, Google, you're complicit. You're By allowing this disgusting degenerate to continue to just absolutely annihilate people's financial lives, you are complicit and you should be ashamed of yourself for allowing a platform for this freaking clown. Anyway, Jarge, I'm glad you quit. Jeremy's an incompetent loser, he's scum, he's a grifter, and he should be banished from YouTube, and he should be investigated again by the SEC. I'm happy for you, and I wish you all the success. Cheers!